Jack can complete a printing job alone in 12 hours. With Jack's help, Susan can complete this job in 8 hours. How long would it take her to complete this job alone? So, the first thing to realize is that both, when they work together, both will complete the same job. If they split the job, they will complete this job in a certain number of time. Okay? So we can let x... Okay. B the time spent on the job when Jack and Susan work together. Okay, so X is the time spent on the job and Jack and Susan work together. So now here's the thing to realize. When Jack works alone, he will complete 12 out of 12, the whole job, or this will equal to 1, which will signify the complete job, right? 12 out of 12 is 1. Right? He will complete the entire job by himself because he, he works alone. So the numerator in this case will be the time that he spends out of the maximum time that he works alone. Right? So the bottom represents the maximum time that he spends uh, working alone. Represents the time Jack spends working alone. So now the 12 will be the variable here in this case. The 12 on the top in the numerator will change. So now take a look at this. We're saying that x is the time spent in this case by Jack, by each of them. They will take the same time because they will work as much as possible together until they finish the entire printing job. They will take as much as possible, as, as many printing pages, for example, as, uh, they will print as many pages as possible to finish together. And they will spend the same number, the same amount of time, the x. Right? So this x will be instead of the 12 that you see in the numerator. Okay? So we're basically going to say that x divided by 12 will represent the part of the job part of the job completed by Jack working with Susan. Okay, so that should be clear. So x divided by 12 is the part of the job completed by Jack working with Susan. And notice that x will be smaller than 12. In, for this reason, right? And it makes sense with the fraction, because we're talking about a proper fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator, right? Because it will take him faster, right? X should be less than 12 because 12 is the time Jack spends working alone, 12 hours, like it says in the first sentence. So X should be less than 12 to tell you, to show you the uh, proper fraction that represents the part of the job completed by Jack working with Susan. Now, the question says, now it also says, Susan can complete the job in eight hours, but together with Jack, so, though, right? So that means x, x, x is equal to eight, and x is less than 12, as it should be, okay? Now, we're asked to find how long would it take her to complete this job alone, right? So we're going to let y, not a variable, let y represent the time spent by Susan working alone. Working alone. Okay, so that's the time that she spends working alone. So now using the same technique as with the, in, uh, with the case of Jack, we know that she will spend x over y, so she, 
she will complete x over y part of the job part of the job um, completed so this is the part of the job completed by Susan while working with Jack okay so now notice that we know already the x x is equal to 8 so notice something else notice that x over y is the part of the job completed by Susan when she works with Jack and x over 12 is the part of the job completed by Jack when he works with Susan right so naturally the entire job as we noted in the beginning should be equal to 1 right because a part of the job plus a missing part of the job uh, that Susan is responsible for will be equal to 1. So basically what we do, we're going to set x divided by 12 plus, so the part of the job completed by Jack plus the part of the job completed by Susan should be equal to 1 because that's the entire job. And then we're going to substitute all the numbers that we know and then we're going to solve. So now that we know that, we know that the x, so let's substitute the x in because we know that was equal to 12, right? That's the time that Susan uh, spends on, on this job when working with Jack. And it, it should also be the time that Jack spends working with Susan in the, on the same job, right? So x will be equal to 8. So 8 over 12 plus 8 over y, as you can see, this only makes the y the only unknown here that we need to solve for and that will answer the question how long it would take Susan to complete this job alone is equal to 1 so now how do we solve for y well we basically realize that 12y 12y is the LCD the least common denominator is the LCD okay 12y is the LCD. So now what that means is that we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 12y. Okay, so we're going to do 12y, this is the LCD, that we're multiplying both sides of the equation. 8 over 12 plus 8 over y is equal to 12y, right? 12y times 1 is 12y. So now look what happens. Um, 12 cancels out with this 12, okay? And the y will cancel out with the y in the second term, right? So as a result, what we get, what we get is this. So here we just get 8y. So I, I think I should indicate this with blue because this is the unknown that we're trying to solve so 8y plus now the y's cancel out in the second term 12 times 8 is going to be 96 so 8y plus 96 is equal to 12y okay so that's that becomes easier now we know how to solve for y Subtracting 8y on both sides will give you 96 is equal to 12y minus, 12 minus 8y is 4y. 4y. So that means divide both sides by 4 will solve for y. So y is equal to 96 divided by 4. x divided by 4. Right, which is equal to how much? 96 divided by 4 is going to be 24. And the reason uh, you can do this without the calculator, just do 80 plus 4, uh, sorry, plus 16, and divide that result by 4. And that will give you the split answer. 80 divided by 4 is 20, 16 divided by 4 is 4, so the result is 24. So you have just found the length of time it will take Susan to complete the job alone, right? So we can say it takes Susan 
24 hours to complete the job alone. So as you can see, twice as long as it took uh, Jack to do the same thing alone. So I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.